What's up guys? Today is my birthday and I decided to take my favorite child. Oh, actually, Hampton's my favorite, but he's at school. So I had to take my, my second favorite um, out to lunch. We're going out to lunch um, of my choosing. And I have wet spots all on my sweatshirt because I was trying to clean something off of it. Um, and I want to go to Huey Magoo's, which is a chicken place chicken tenders, chicken sandwiches, chicken salad, or chicken tender salad. And Seb said he was cool with that. So that's what we're gonna do. And then later, I'm gonna go get my free crumble. I'm gonna get my free Starbucks, all the freeze for my birthday. I don't know what else is free. So I don't know what else is happening today, but anyways, it is my birthday. I'm old, blah, blah, blah. It's not as exciting as, you know, when you're his age or even in your 20s to get where I'm at. Mm -hmm. We just had the sweetest lady at Hugh and Magoo's. Oh my goodness, we talked to her and she gave him a free cookie. She gave us free drinks. She gave us a free cheese sauce. She was just so sweet. I'm just, I love nice people. This mm -hmm. makes me so happy. Tenders, they they are literally so good. And then they have different sauces too. And we got the Hugh and Magoo's and garlic parm, which is really good. And then we got some cheese sauce for our french fries and look at this sandwich. Oh. That, that looks good. <sighs> All right guys, we are back. We are so full, but it was so good. And that lady was so nice giving us free stuff. Next is my free crumble, my free Starbucks. <laughs> but first is I'm going for the my birthday, the kids offered to clean the house, so. What? Thanks. <laughs> oh, Brenda, her little laugh. Wow. <laughs> She's chuckling over there with that one. That's not it? No. Oh. Okay. I have to clean on my buffet. How about for your birthday gift? Are we will. We will we'll, we'll, your birthday party. Yeah, she did. How did. about um, we will let you clean the house? We'll, oh, we'll, we'll sit aside. Honor. We'll sit aside and we'll, we'll, we'll let, let you, you clean the do house. It. Oh, fine. Okay. No oh. pain. So kind to me, and cook dinner, right? No, we'll let you we'll cook let it. You cook. Wow. On you. On oh. you. On you. I'm like so lucky as a mom that I get to do all this stuff for my birthday. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You're lucky we're letting you. Okay, I remember that. Be I remember that. Actually, Capri's birthday's next time. She's out there tanning in complete clouds. Yeah. <laughs> Complete. Like it almost was like it's gonna rain. All right. Oh, and last night we had the craziest lightning storm. Dad said you guys went outside and you saw that lightning in the clouds. It was yeah. so weird. It was like Harry Potter vibes. Yeah. Death Eaters were coming. They were like. It was so much. It was so much. Yeah. It was really bizarre. Okay. Bye. Just wanted to let you guys know that the kids, in fact, did clean. They were very sweet. They vacuumed, they cleaned the den, doing the trash. So they did help. Second. Okay, we're at Starbucks and I'm getting my free Starbucks. I'm very excited. And it's funny because Crumble is right next door and I'm gonna go pick up my free Crumble cookie and I'm just gonna get a chocolate chip because honestly, the chocolate chip really is the best. And I got from here, and I don't normally get Starbucks, you guys know that, I'm normally Dunkin', but I got the Vietnamese coffee, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Coffee. It's like the Vietnamese coffee, but it's a Starbucks version and it has white mocha and sweet cream, cold foam. I saw it on TikTok and I've had it before, it's really good. So that's what I got. Um, and then let's go get to our crumble. Wait, no, that's um, what is that? That's Duncan. Um, oh, mango. it's mango. Okay, so here, I know you didn't. Bernie, Capri, what? who got my straw? Capri, I need the venti straw. It's my birthday. Just push it down. Not Capri. Yeah. Uh, no. Does it go on? Look, yes, it goes on. <laughs> Seriously, you're making me do that. I need okay, so here it is. It's very pretty. This will probably go to Diet. Hampton for sure. Oh my goodness, happy pay. All right. Here we go. Mmm, the 
It's good for Starbucks now. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. What do you rate it? Seven. I mean, I'm just a Dunkin', Dunkin girl, you know? It's good. You need to stir up, you need to get that. You need to take the, like, the more that you get this, this is supposed to be mixed. That's the whole point. All right, off to do my daily coffee TikTok. Goodbye. What's up, my friends? It is the next day. Day after my birthday, I had a great birthday. Whew, it's hot. Um, so, let me gather my thoughts here. Turn on the camera too quick. I just grabbed some coffee. I'm about to go run into Target and get a couple things, you know, the salmon. I always tell you every week I have to go and get the salmon and the side bowls that um, the girls like. Okay, so I got hot coffee. It's definitely iced coffee weather out. And I have somebody parked right next to me and I just don't care. They're probably wondering who I'm talking to. But I'm talking to you guys, my friends. So, I'm gonna drink my coffee, take it into Target, shop with my coffee, because I'll be freezing in Target, so it actually works out. I wanna look over to the left to see if he's looking. He ain't looking, that's why I don't care. Okay, um, so, let's go to Target. Let's get all the things. I'm tired. <sighs> Female issues. I'm starting my period. TMI. That's where we're at today. So, <laughs> So I have my, uh, I'm cleaning the kitchen, doing things, and I was gonna show you guys dinner, and then I realized, ooh, don't have a break, that my camera was in the car, so I came out to the car, and then I realized, look, there was something I wanna talk about, so maybe I just talk about it in the car. I my glasses on because it's so bright. Um, I did talk about this on TikTok, there's Posey. And I don't know, Daniel will be editing this if he's gonna put this in, but maybe sometimes it just feels good to vent, you know, and get things out, whether it's posted or not, but. So I started to share, and the plan is to tell our full story of how, who stole, who and how, our half, over half a million dollars was actually really stolen from us, and how that's just really impacted our life greatly and we are currently in a lawsuit, which you can be looked up, which can be looked up. It's public, and I know some of you have. So really anything I'm saying is public. Like there's nothing that, th there will be things that I say, there will be things that I will say that are not public. So you can get the full story and the full understanding. But basically people we trusted stole over half a million dollars. You guys know we were gonna do duck donuts, um, Mark and Robert. Mark was a friend of ours. I was really good friends with his wife. We cheered. They do not go to the same cheer. They don't cheer. They don't go to the same cheer gym as us now. They did last season, which was really difficult. And I, the amount of anger that I was faced with at every comp having to see his face um, was hard. And then seeing friends that I thought were friends buddy buddy with them I lost some uh, I lost some friends over this but they weren't friends you know if that's all it took but it, whatever and then what's funny is Mark and his wife are just using these people to make me angry and pretending to be their friend when in reality they would have never been friends with them and I guarantee you they aren't friends now okay anyways so yeah we trusted Mark and Robert very much Mark and his wife were friends with our with friends with us. I was really close and good friends with his wife. She, our daughters cheered. Like these weren't people that, these were people we trusted. We trusted Robert because Mark trusted Robert. Now, this is the short for like Daniel and I are literally going to sit down and do a little a video dedicated to our entire story and sharing it. This is just a little bit to get off my chest because I am just angry and I feel like. Just talking about it because it impacts our life losing that amount of money is a big deal and it you know right now they may be enjoying the money that they have and their nice cars and nice houses and you know scamming people out of money creating new businesses probably with our money because his wife did create a new business and or open a new business in um, 
like where we used to live, but um, it's raining. We trusted them. So if you're wondering why we made it, we made deals with them, it's because we were friends, especially with Mark and his wife. Now we know what a scoundrel, what scoundrels they both are, and how I Heart Mac and Cheese is actually such a shady business it's so bad if you they are one of the biggest failing like franch franchises like their failure rate is like insanely high i think i read like was it 73 percent really high and now doing my research indiana this, they won't even allow i heart mac and cheeses um into their state i think california is headed that way too um there's so many lawsuits against this company and so the company as a whole is so corrupt so it ends up corrupt people just kind of end up working with the company and that's why mark it was like it's like the perfect company company for mark and robert because they're scoundrels they're crooks they're they're evil they're money hungry they're liars so it just makes sense for them to partner with this corrupt company then use us in a very vulnerable time you guys know but and using that time, we were going into business with Duck Donuts, already put some money into to it. Mark and Robert knew we had cash in hand. We had all the funds that they needed, like ready, because we were had we were going into business with Duck Donuts. So they already knew we had the capital. It was ready to go. They tricked us, they lied to us, made us think that we were buying into Coral Springs and Jupiter. We base basically they used a fake, if you look it up, it's there, like iHeart Ventures, a, some fake company that they could funnel the money into to look like it was legit and it wasn't stole money at one point used our personal bank account to buy food for iheart mac and cheese because those businesses were failing and they couldn't even afford this is after we had stepped out because we realized what had happened um the jupiter store shut down because robert couldn't pay rent and was like do like they sued him because he wasn't paying rent. They're such, they're winners. Let me tell you, Mark, our winners. They've tricked people into thinking that they're like good businessmen and they're corrupt, they're awful. Um, so that's, we made a deal with the devil, unfortunately, and we didn't realize that. And now we're out over half a million plus because we have attorney fees and all that. Um, and we just want our money back and we just want to, to for them to make right what, you know, to fix, to do the right thing. Now we're in a lawsuit and it's ugly. And now we're include like it's we're in, we, now we're suing I Heart Mac and Cheese on top of Mark, Robert, Lana, their little fake business account, their little fake LLC. But they um, they committed a crime, and it's it's let's just hope things work right, work out right. But they definitely committed a crime here. They committed fraud. The whole company's fraudulent but lying we even signed i mean they made these contracts that we signed we thought we were they we they sent them over like and we have all of this documented like hey guys i you know i remember them like do you have you signed the contract oh, okay and then we signed the contract send them the contract of us signed they never signed it they were tricking us they were tricking us they knew what was going to happen they knew that we would probably end up and then they could say no we didn't. oh my gosh are they walking door to door who are these people Maybe, maybe it's, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. So they uh, tricked us. I've lost my train of thought. I, I literally don't know what I was saying. It, maybe it's just time to be quiet. But yeah, Mark, Robert, and Lana, and iHeart Ventures, they stole our money. And I guess basically, at the end of the day, iHeart Mac and Cheese stole our money. They're all one big ring of crooks. Look up the lawsuits against iHeart Mac and Cheese. Look up ours, and then, and then you'll see. But yeah, I'm pretty angry. It's pretty upsetting. There's a lot more to the story and there's so much more. Like, I cannot wait to tell you the details. The things that Mark said, the things that Robert said, I think like, yeah, there's, there's far more to it, but I'm gonna go in now, okay? And I'll show you dinner. All right, let's show you dinner. It might fog up because of the heat and steam. Yep, ooh, okay. So I don't necessarily have like a name of this. I've kind of combined two chicken recipes that I really like. Um, this, I think I need to actually increase the heat a little bit. I'm gonna end up shredding all of this chicken too, okay, just so you know. I have three chicken breasts, but it will be shredded. And I put in 
just a little bit of ranch on top of the chicken when I put the chicken in the crock pot. Then I put this Olive Garden Italian dressing over it. I put a little, little bit of heavy cream, half a um, block of cream cheese, and then at the end, after I shred it, I will sprinkle in some cheese. I have like a um, Italian blend cheese and I'll sprinkle that in there. And then um, I'm gonna put, you can do, okay, so you can do this over rice. You can actually put this in sandwiches. I'm gonna be putting this um, over orzo. It's actually like a gluten-free orzo. So that's what, that's what I had. So it sounded good to me. So that's, um, that's dinner.